Hello and welcome my fellow homo sapien friends and today we are doing a Destiny 2 Forsaken video. After a pretty disappointing start to year 1 for Destiny and a pretty lacklustre 2 expansions, it's about time that we had a massive DLC that will entice people to come back to Destiny 2. Now I did actually do a live stream of this yesterday but it was an appalling attempt, I was unprepared. Basically like I forgot to turn my mic on and for most of it my reaction was basically so the trailer just absolutely blew me away and I couldn't be more excited to get into this and play this and and just generally like it feels a lot more like Destiny 1 and honestly that's fantastic because that's what we needed we needed it back where Destiny 1 had finished and I feel that a lot of the game so far and the the expansions have barely scraped the appetite for the Destiny player to keep feasting on now in this video we are going to have a look back at all the cool shit coming in September with the Forsaken DLC. Now honestly, will this DLC fix Destiny 2? Honestly, the game has a long way to go I think, but we, with everything coming with the Forsaken, I want to say yes. However, bear in mind that this is the top of the iceberg that we saw yesterday. But with two and a half months to go, plus E3 and Guardian Con, we can expect to be amazed even more. So the story sounds brilliant. It starts off with a prison break of all the enemies put there by Cade 6. That already had already piqued my interest. I mean, any kind of story where Cade 6 starts off, because he's a troublemaker. He just gets you into so much shit, honestly. Like, I get why he works alone, because no one else wants to work with him. And then obviously we get a closer look at the barbaric Fallen, which resemble orcs from Lord of the Rings. So it's definitely got that sort of Middle-earth kind of feel to it in space. So it, it, it does feel a bit weird, and obviously like, it's got this little cowboy theme, I suppose, with like the tumbleweed, and you've got like the boots with the little whatever the fuck they are. I don't know what the... but they look like stars or something on them. And uh, yeah, it, it looks kind of a crisscross between everything. Obviously new locations have been announced, we are going back to the Reef, a location named Tangled Shore will be your first stop. Basically it, it just looks like floating pieces of asteroid strung together so that the Fallen can travel between each one easily because they're like little spiders and they're, they're really freaky and ew, make my skin crawl. Uh, obviously there's going to be new enemies, pirates, cutthroats, thieves and generally not very nice people. Obviously we've got the Scorn and the Barons, and obviously the Barons are like the big honchos that have like supreme powers and can grow to like fucking three times the size, but look at this bloke here. And they're, they're going to be a lot more challenging, they're not going to be scared to come up to you and, and take you on, they're, they're going to be a lot more aggressive than usual, which is great, I mean we could do with more enemies a bit like that. I mean, obviously, there's a there's a Baron here that looks like he's skinned a war beast and then worn it as a trophy. And each Baron's going to be different. Like you've got obviously the sniper one where you have to have a look at a sniper battle, and then you've got this big melee monster that swings around this fiery lantern. It honestly, it, it looks fantastic. Obviously, we have a new weapon system that gives us back the freedom to the players to choose their most preferred weapons. So it's possible, if you really want to, to have three shotguns and you could get to play however you want. Personally, it'd be just nice having snipers and shotguns as my secondary slot. And like it did in Destiny 1, I mean, my preferred choice of weapons would usually be probably an auto rifle for your first slot, shotgun or sniper for your second, and then obviously a rocket launcher for your third. But obviously you've got the choice of swords and grenade launchers now as well. So having that sort of freedom in the game is absolutely great. I can't wait to get back into this. Obviously we've got one of the exotics here. It's called the Twin Rabbit. It sounds fucking beastly. Like loving the look of some of the new weapons as well. And, some, and, and the perk on this uh, Twin Rabbit just sounds fucking amazing. It fires two rockets at the same time. Each with a different burn on it. Obviously you get one solar, one that's void. That would be absolutely fantastic like you, you won't need to change your weapon if the burn is obviously void or solar on like the strikes another thing i'm wanting to know about is will we be getting strike specific loot i mean the heroic strikes at the moment are fucking solid if you're not a high enough level now to make that grind worth it why not give us some sort of loot that makes it worth that grind and Obviously, thankfully, we are getting random rolls back, which will take us back to Destiny 1, which is going to be amazing. 
because you're going to have that grind for that perfect weapon, the perfect roll that we did in Destiny. And obviously I spotted this as well in the, the trailer. It looks like we're getting Petra from uh, obviously Destiny 1. She was obviously the Queen's Wrath like merchant, I would say. Like she would give you like random bounties each week and you'd go out and do them. Obviously earn tokens and then come back, give them to her and then she'd give you some sort of loot. And normally it would be armor and weapons and stuff like that so it'd be great if she is returning and if she's going to be the vendor possibly for the reef as well that would be brilliant obviously we've got new super abilities coming which is also going to be amazing obviously they can't give us a new super which was a little bit disappointing i've got to say but they have given us a new part of the super tree so obviously in the trailer we saw the Titan, Striker and Sunbreaker class getting a new upgrade with that giant hammer which looks brilliant. I mean I'm enjoying the Sunbreaker at the moment as well so having that giant hammer just makes it even better. Obviously with the Hunter you've got the Arc Strider and the Golden Gun which will have like golden blades so you just throw like little knives at people which looks wicked as well. With the Warlock we've seen the Stormcaller and the Void Walker. So the Stormcaller looks brilliant. It looks like you fire this giant beam. Like you feel like you're Iron Man firing from his chest. You know what I mean? Oh, it looks amazing. And then obviously you've got your like, anime style teleportation for your Warlock. And then you just poof, explode almost into like the crowd of enemies. And that, oh, it just looks fantastic. I'm just waiting to see what they've done with the other supers that they obviously didn't show in the trailer. What kind of um, improvements they're going to make for those. Now moving on from there, we've got bows. Bows in Destiny, mm, right now, kind of seems a bit pointless because I normally associate bows with stealth and Destiny's never really been a stealthy game. I feel maybe a crossbow would have been a better choice. However, this isn't to say that I am against it. Personally, I've wanted a bow in Destiny forever. To finally have one will be amazing. I just hope it works well in game. Now we are getting a new game mode it's called gambit now this is a pve and pvp mode combined i'm not a fan of pvp as you probably all know by now mainly because i just shit at it to be honest but honestly i can say this sounds perfect killing ads while competing against other guardians sounds like a great idea and personally i'm looking forward to delving in with with four uh, well three of members of my clan and taking on another clan possibly and that would that'll be fantastic to try and do that obviously we are getting a new raid and this one takes us back to destiny one so this isn't going to be a raid layer because I, I feel that they've done enough with the raid layer now it's time to move on go to a different location and and fight bigger monsters more monsters get different loot solve different puzzles and stuff like that and definitely this Dreaming City raid looks fucking beautiful. It definitely has that, like I said at the beginning, that Lord of the Rings theme to it. And it looks incredible. I might actually want to do this raid. Personally, I've not been that bothered about doing the other raids. So this one, I think I'm going to jump back in. It's they've, they've, they've compared it to, obviously, Vault Glass and the Dreadnought are like twins, basically. So... It, you can imagine it's going to be a lot more challenging, definitely new and exciting. So obviously we are going to get ways to see what items we've attained from exotics to emblems and we are having ways to record our game progress similar to record books that were in Destiny 1, which were a fantastic way of grinding and completing activities that you wanted to do. As I've said, this is the tip of the iceberg. I am so excited to see everything in more detail and new things that we have not yet been shown. My only criticism is the annual pass. It sounds great, but charging us for events and stuff each year sounds like a cash grab to me. Now personally, I think that the first annual pass should be free to entice people to come back to the game, try it out, and if they don't like it, and it's not worth the money or the the effort for those then they don't have to pay for it next time i mean i could be wrong here just let me know in the comment section what you think on what you feel about the new forsaken trailer and what you've seen so far what, what are your favorite bits from this 
trailer. Honestly, it's hard to pinpoint for me right now which one it could be, but I am so excited for this. And honestly, it, it feels like Destiny 2 is a new game now. It actually feels like we're getting a brand new game as opposed to just an expansion. And that's honestly what I feel we needed. Now, obviously, if you have liked this video, please give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell so you never miss any of my videos. And obviously, comment down below what you feel was the highlight of your, well, of this trailer for you. Now, don't forget to take care of yourselves and others, and bye-bye for now.